All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to make Warzone or any game for that matter a priority on your computer. Just quickly before I get to that, I'm gonna show you two other things that you should probably do first. A lot of you probably know about these two. I just wanna quickly go over it in case you don't. I also wanna briefly mention that I know a lot of people out there are having issues with the new map Vondel, myself included. FPS is down and very inconsistent. The game feels a little sluggish compared to before the update. I'll have a video out in a few days showing you something I did to help with the sluggishness. And I'm also working on a benchmark video to find the best set settings combination to get the highest FPS. Since it's a little bit more in depth, that should be out in the next couple weeks. Now, normally I try to get right to the point in a video. I just thought I would mention that just because it's relevant to what people are going through. And I just want you to know that I am trying to find ways to make the new map feel better. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is go down to the search bar and type graphic settings. Once it comes up, you wanna click on it. You can also get there by clicking system and then display. Once you see a page like this, you wanna to go to where it says Call of Duty HQ. Now, if it's not there, you can go under where it says add an app and click browse. Find where it's saved on your computer and add it manually. It should be under program files. Once it's added, you wanna select it and then click options. Make sure you have both high performance and don't use optimization for Windows games selected and then just hit save. This will let your computer know you want max performance whenever you're playing Call of Duty. Now, the second thing you're gonna do is you're gonna enable ultimate performance. You wanna go back down to the search bar and start to type PowerShell. Once you see something called Windows PowerShell come up, you wanna select it and then come over to where it says run as administrator and click on it. It's the second one down. Next, you wanna hit yes and then a window like this should pop up. Next, you're gonna to wanna to either type or paste in this code right here. You can find it in the description of this video. Just copy and right click right here past where it says system 32. And once the code pops up, you just hit enter. After that, you can X this window out and then come back down to the search bar. This time you're gonna type power plan. You're gonna go up to where it says choose a power plan and click on it. After that, you should be brought to a page that looks like this. Next, you wanna find where it says ultimate performance and click on it. As long as you did that last step in PowerShell, it should now be unlocked. Now, for some reason it's not there, just make sure you have at least high performance selected. And if you're not seeing any of them, make sure you hit show additional plans because they might be hidden down there. Now, the last thing I'm gonna show you not a lot of people know about it might help you run Warzone a little bit smoother, especially for any of you out there on a slightly lower end system. Now you are gonna have to do this every time you play. For some reason, it always reverts back to default anytime you launch the Call of Duty app, at least for me anyway. Now, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna launch the game and let it load up. After it's completely booted up and you're ready to play, you wanna hit Control-Alt-Delete on your keyboard and bring up your task manager. Under apps, find where it says Call of Duty HQ and click on it. It'll bring up this mini drop down menu. Go to where it says Call of Duty HQ and then right click on it. And then go down to where it says go to details and then select it. Next, under the details section, you want to find where it says COD.exe and then right click on it. Next, go to where it says set priority and then you should see six different options show up on the right hand side. Now, by default, priority should be set to normal, but what you want to do is you want to click right above it where it says above normal and then just hit change priority. What this will do is it will tell your computer that Call of Duty has priority over anything else running on the PC, and it should tell your computer to devote a little bit more resources to the game that you're playing. Now, even though it's tempting, I would not go above, above normal. If you select higher real time, you're gonna start running into input lag because your computer's gonna start giving all of its resources to Call of Duty at the expense of input drivers you need for your controller or your keyboard and mouse. I would just stick with above average if I were you. That way there, your computer knows Warzone is still the main priority priority, but not at the expense of other vital functions. Once you're done, you can just X out the task manager and then you're good to go. Hopefully this helps the game run a little bit smoother. And if anything, it should help with lag issues and responsiveness. And you might even see a little bit of a frame increase as well. Like I said before, be on the lookout for a few more videos that can help with the new map and make sure you're subscribed if you want those notifications. If you found this video helpful, drop a like, follow me over on Twitter to stay up to date on everything Warzone 2 and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more short, straight to the point videos like this. I'll catch you next time. And if not, kick rocks. Peace. Kick rocks,